Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ultimate Warp Zone. I am, as always, Captain N, and this is episode number 15. So, today's episode is going to be Wrath of the Black Manta, one of the newer games I have acquired. Newer to me, I guess. <laughs> now, before we jump into that, what did you guys get for Christmas? I had a good Christmas. If you want to write in the comments below what you got, I will show you guys in an upcoming video what I got for Christmas. Some of it's going to be in the up and coming unboxing. I know I've been talking about that for a little while now, but I've been waiting on one of the games to come in the mail. There was a mail strike back in December, and that caused a mail backup. And with the mail backup, caused one of my packages to go missing. Now that's from Lukey Games. Thankfully with Lukey, if anything goes missing, they will replace it for you at no cost to you. So I waited quite a while, almost a month basically, to try to get that. Um, you know, I've been talking about it for a while and they're sending it. So it should be arriving sometime this week, along with some extra games that have been donated by Joel. Thanks again, Joel, for donating those games. And what I will do is I won't open them up until I record the unboxing. I will open them up in the unboxing. Uh, I know one of the games, the other one is a surprise, so we'll be surprised all together. Uh, let's continue on here. So, before we jump into anything more, you know what time it is. Letter time. And no letters. Everybody's been busy over Christmas time, so I understand. If you have any questions for me, write them in the comments below, and I will answer them on the next episode. It's simple as that. And speaking of simple, let's take a look at the rules. We see the rules every episode. Uh, for anybody that's new, these are the rules. It is a little poster that came with the Power Glove. I don't have it. I'm trying to acquire it. Uh, I almost got my hands on it, but it was way too expensive. I'm not going to pay 50 or $60 for that. Um, but I did I did pay, uh, if you go back to the Maniac Mansion episode, the poster, I did pay about $35 for that. So that's probably the $30 range as high as I'm going to go. But I'll keep my eye out for it. But yeah, you have to turn off Turbo, because if you don't, it just messes up the games, unless you're wanting to play with Turbo on, obviously. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over a, a severe chest and sinus infection. Had that over Christmas, so that was fantastic. But I'm almost 100% now. So, now that we're done with the rules, uh, Wrath of the Black Manta, I played it a long time ago. I didn't quite remember it and how much fun it was until I got it home from the mailbox, cleaned it up. Uh, check out my cleaning video if you want to find out how to clean up your games. And put it in the Nintendo and played it. Um, I did use a, a controller. <clears throat> I know, a controller. Um, I haven't tried it out with the Power Glove yet, so this is going to be an interesting episode. But I forgot how much fun it was. It, it's simple yet fun. Now, Wrath of the Black Manta is a side-scrolling action game published by Taito for the Nintendo Entertainment System in North America in 1990 and in the Powell region in 1991. It's a localized version of Ninja Cop. I can't pronounce the next word, so I'm going to throw it up on the screen for you. And there it is. A family computer game published by, can't say that name either, in 1989, but with drastic changes to the game's graphics, sound, and level designs. In the game, the player goes through five levels using throwing stars and special, special ninjutsu abilities called the Ninja Arts to stop a gang of the evil mastermind behind a slew of kidnappings, El Toro. Taro, and a student of the Black Manta Sensei, is one of the kidnapped children. The Black Manta has many powers, which he gets after beating a level. The player can choose which power to use by quickly pressing start. These powers can help the Black Manta defeat enemies and bosses more quickly. Now, you do have to save kidnapped children throughout the level. You will see them. Uh, but 
like it says, it plays no role in completing the game. It does not warrant any kind of special bonus. So you're just rescuing them. Ah, there is a bit of text that shows you they thank you. Now, part of the last level is seen through a first person perspective. Towards the end of the stage, the Black Manta has to defeat one of the bosses from previous levels before he goes to face with El Toro himself. Now, when it was released in the US and Europe as Wrath of the Black Manta, it came with several notable differences. Graphically, many of the sprites and artworks were altered between versions. All of the cutscenes in Ninja Cop are different from the ones used in Black Manta. The graphics in these scenes are less of the style of anime or manga and more realistic in the US and European versions. Tiny, you know how tiny he is. The boss of the first stage is also different in both versions with the Ninja Cop version of him being more in the style of anime and manga and a little more animated than the Black Manta versions. The Japanese version also has him shoot a projectile from his fists, while the other versions do not. The Rio de Janeiro stage on the Japanese game has a boss creature made of electricity, but the Black Manta boss is replaced with the Voodoo Warrior. The backgrounds for these boss fights are different in both regions. Finally, the sprites used for jumping upward are different in both versions too. The Japanese game sprite is drawn shown speed lines rather than the Manta's feet while jumping upwards. There are six stages in the Ninja Cop, where in Wrath of the Black Manta, it only has five. The second stage of Ninja Cop is completely removed from the Black Manta. The Japanese exclusive stage also has a floating eyeball boss that isn't in Black Manta. In the final stage of the game, there are also a couple of alterations. In Ninja Cop, you must take on all of the bosses from previous levels, where in Black Manta, you only have to take one of them. The final boss is also completely different in both games. In Ninja Cop, the player has to take on a spaceship with drops of a variety of enemies from the game. In Black Manta, the player only has to fight a character named El Toro using four of the ninja arts. After that, the game's final boss transforms into an alien, which a player must fight normally, unlike having to use ninja arts like in Black Manta. In Ninja Cop, the player is presented with a credit screen after completing the game, which was removed in the Western version. In addition to all these changes, both games have completely different soundtracks. Last, many of the ninja arts are learned in different order between each game. So, now that we've learned a bit of that, let's go take a look at the manual. Let's bring that up on the screen. So the story is, crime and kidnapping grips New York City. A lone figure leaps from the shadows and grabs an unsuspecting informant from the drat or drugs runners and terrorists. Stricken with fear, the poor fool stares into a pair of cold blue eyes. The mysterious hero is no ordinary crime fighter. His name sends cold shivers up the meanest criminal's spines. Criminals beware, Black Manta is on your tail. Now we have the, the how to operate screen. It's pretty generic of showing you how to use the controller. Now there are how to operate continue. It shows a black mantis foot moves. Up allows you to go through a door. Down crouch, left and right obviously move. The special movements, down arrow and A, you jump down. Left arrow and A, you somersault left. Right arrow and A, you somersault right. We also have the player status and scoring. It shows a number of lives, player score, power, power indicator, and current strength. Now, there are regular weapons that the Black Manta uses all the time. There's darts thrown from a distance and the short sword always used at close range. So when you're playing it and you hear the ching sound like that, that's when you're using your sword. Now, the arts are divided into four groups. There's the group A, group B, group C, and group D. As you can see here, I won't go through all of them. You see them on the screen right here and see what they do. Um, definitely a bunch of interesting ones that I'd like to try out. And when you're playing the game, if you hit select, it'll show the arts that you can use and how to use them. I'll show you in the game how to use them as well. 
Now for the game levels. Level one, New York City. Level two, Tokyo, Japan. Level three, Rio de Janeiro, South America. Level four, New York City. Level five, DRAT Headquarters. If you can remember what DRAT stands for, I don't remember. There are special characters. Um, there are red crooks that give you information. Um, you could kill them in two hits, or you could hit them once, and then the Black Manta grabs them, and it goes to a cutscene. And there's also kidnapped kids. They give you some information, but they're in heavily guarded rooms. The special items are letters. Now they contain valuable clues like to tell you to stand next to a wall and fire a ninja star, you'll get to a hidden area, stuff like that. There's a power or power symbol. Uh, if you grab one of those, you get more power. And then the L for extra lives. Now it does show hints and tips in here, but let's see what they are. Don't eliminate informants. Informants? There we go. <laughs> well, you can if you want, but you won't get the information. Rescue every kidnapped kid you find. Technically, there's no bonus, but I guess it makes you feel good about yourself. Read every letter for valuable clue, and that's true, because there is one at the starting where you can fall down into the sewers, but if you jump over the sewers, you'll be able to grab the letter. It has some information. Hidden levels hold many secrets. So that is true. Um, I've, I've got a, plenty of hidden secrets in the game. And only four different arts can defeat the mysterious villain. What four arts? I don't know. Well, now that that's done and over with, let's get into the game. There it is, Wrath of the Black Manta. So, we have to set up the power glow. We're going to hit select, squeeze our fists so the lights stop blinking. Let's get comfortable and center up the screen. There we go. And let's hit start. So children are vanishing from the streets of New York City. Some people think that the kids are being kidnapped, but the police and FBI have no leads. And I hit a button. Huh. Ring ring. Who could be calling in the middle of the night? Hello? Hello? Bar one, New York City. So the power glove is touchy. It does hit buttons even if you're not moving. It's very sensitive. So these are the arts. If you hit down and B, you'll charge up and you do the ground fire where it runs along the ground. If you do charge up left or right B, it does a firing where it swirls fire around you and disappears. If you do just hold down the A button, let go out of the shadow. It does a duplicate of yourself where the enemies may get a little confused. It says it's supposed to make you invisible, but it doesn't. And there's the art of missiles. Hold the button. B button, I should say. Throw out all of these. And hit up. It'll do a missile where it fires out a blast of fire. So, let's hit start. So, if you notice, so if I hold down. Oh, we didn't turn off turbo. There we go. So if you hold down and charge up and let go, there's your duplicate. Um, it's supposed to confuse them, I guess. If we go down and charge up, there's a ground missile. If we go up and charge up, there's the fire missile. And if we go left or right, there is the ring of fire. Now, as you can see, down at the bottom you have your power meter. That's how powerful it's going to be. If you just tap the B button, you've got your ninja stars. There's a piece of paper. These guys like to jump down. There's a sword. So the man in red knows something. 
man in red being the informant. So if we get him, get him once and then you get him in a choke. It sounds a little creepy. But Power Glove did hit a button again, so we didn't get to read that. But it's okay. Now here's the part where you jump over that, shoot it at the underground wall, and a hidden door will appear. As you can see to the left, you could fall down into the sewer. So we're going to go down there now. So it's this wall. Now you get a little closer. We'll get it. Or maybe not. This is the issue with the power glove. It's very tight. There we go. We got it. So we got a pow there. That'll raise our power up. So it, it's a little more powerful when we shoot the items. And the button is hit. Ah, the power glove. Oh, I went through the door and came back out. There we go. There's the sword again. So, with these bonus rooms here, you might get some extra life. You might get an extra life itself. I did get some life down at the bottom which is fine by me. So it's technically not the exit, even though it says an exit. If you hold up, you can jump up higher. Oh, down we go. This game is a little difficult with the Power Glove. Um, through our series, you can see most games are. There are some that are great with it. Uh, the Design Power Glove games, uh, Super Glove Ball, is probably the best one with the Power Glove at the moment. Maniac Mansion is good because it's like you're moving a mouse around. Jump higher. There we go. This guy likes to jump all the way up here. more life. Have you guys played this game? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like it? Um, I'm going through these games to, to show you as well how they are. It might spark your interest in getting them. Uh, check out lukeygames.com. I'll throw the link up on the screen now so you can see. Uh, they have a lot of old and retro games for GameCube, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Wii, Nintendo, Game Boy, all sorts of, even Virtual Boy. Just lots of good stuff. You guys should check it out. Come on, down here. Gotcha. Hey, let go of me. No. Come now. Be a good boy. I don't want to hurt you. Tell me who's in charge of the kidnapping. I don't know, but it's a pretty big organization. I'm sure you do know. Center here. Oh, oh shot in the back. There we go, gotcha. I love all these little areas in here. More energy? Sure. Can't jump all the way up there. Gotta get in the box.
Oh. Oh, you respawn. Oh, down we go. Game over. Well, that's Wrath of the Black Manta with the Power Glove. Alright guys, so I want to show you more of Wrath of the Black Manta, but with the controller, just because we didn't get super far with the Power Glove. But here's a starting story that you can see uh, without it being interrupted. Apparently he wears it all day and night. Who could be calling in the middle of the night? Is he sleeping in that? Mr. Yagi? Master, what's up? It's surprising that you don't get a bonus for rescuing all the children. Took his youngest student, Taro, as we talked about. And we let her at the scene. Please send help. We have been kidnapped. Well, we already know that. Near the waterfront. Okay, that's a little better of a clue. Once and for all. I was going to say, may the force be with you. <laughs> Part one, New York City. So here are the arts. It does describe them from holding the button down. If you don't push any of the D-pad, Art of the Shadow. Push left or right while holding the B button to charge up, Art of the Fire Ring. Down while holding the B button to charge ground fire and up part of the missiles. So as you can see, if you hold the B button down and let go, Art of the Shadow. I'm still trying to figure out what that does. If you do left or right, it does a fire ring. Down and charge does the fire missile, or the fire arrow, I believe. And then up is a fire missile. It says you do acquire new abilities Man in red knows something. When you get the the enemies disappear on screen. There's the man in red, so we got him. Ooh, loosen up, man. It's creepy. Where's your boss? He doesn't know. The man in red doesn't know something. Or he's lying to us. He couldn't be lying to us, could he? Now, here's where you can get the note if you jump over, because that's falling down in the sewers. So you grab that, shoot at the underground wall, and a hidden door will appear. So if we go down here, just up here, on this ledge, if you give it a couple shots and hit up, you go through the door. That'll give us some more power, so we're a little bit stronger. Got him, anyways. Huh. Man in red, get him. It's the same guy. Hey, watch it. Doesn't he remember us from the first time? You're involved in the kidnappings, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I 
I don't want to hurt you. Okay, I helped in the kidnappings. Told you. What are these kidnappings all about? I don't know. I just follow orders. Where does the guy go? He just disappears. These exit doors, you can go in. There, you can see I was hitting them with the sword. Um, when you beat these little rooms, it'll give you some bonuses like we saw before. I think it gave me a little bit of extra life. This was a little bit of flickering. The bottom left. If you do jump and hit up, you will jump a little bit higher. Got it, more life, nice. Oh, we didn't want to go back in the door. Well, I guess we're going back in there. Back out we go. So up and jump, get you up there. You find yourself using the ninja stars a lot. The ground missile is great if you need to follow it up and hit somebody like that. I thought we could go through this little entrance here, but you can't. Oh, there's a guy in red. Let's see if we can get him. There we go. Hey, let go of me. How many of these guys are there? Be a good boy. I don't want to hurt you. Tell me who's in charge of the kidnappings. I don't know, but it's a pretty big organization. What's the name of this organization? Let me guess, I don't know. Yeah, I just do what I'm told. Looks a like Vincent Price. We're going here. Get those guys. I think he gave us some extra life. See if we jump down here. Yeah, he will. He's back. Oh, the guy that fires from the window. Gotcha. Oh, where did you come from? And I thought you'd be able to go in here, but you can't. And here is some weird glitch where it's firing from both sides of the screen. Let's go with it. With our ground missile. Oh, let's try to get him. There we go. All right, what's in this door? Life. All right, we have tons of life. Okay, there's a fall, an area where you can fall down. Let's see if there's any secrets. No, no secrets there. Any secrets over here? Oh, we got a secret. More power. So if you're there and you hit up and you fire, you may find a secret. So we have an exit door. I don't know. Shoot at the wall, the left side of the pipe, you'll see a hidden door. Well, that's what we already did. These guys love the duck. Gotcha. All right, I'll talk. Well, finally. Well, it took how many tries? Tell me everything you know. I don't know anything, I swear. <laughs> oh. That guy. We're gonna get him one of these days. shadow just by holding B and charging you can you can throw two ninja stars oh and four and let's see if we can get them. there we go help 
Who do you report to? I don't know. Yeah, I've never seen him. <laughs> Why are you kidnapping kids? Because they're evil? Business reasons. Mm, business needs, I guess. Let's go on this exit door. Oh, we got a kid. Hey, thanks. I thought I was going to die here. Dying in a Nintendo game. No chance of that now. Captain N's here. If you shoot the wall on the right, you'll find a hidden door. Thanks, kid. Have you found out anything else? It's taken a long time to put on his jacket. Yeah, four kids are trapped in a secret office, but I don't know exactly where. So like the guy in red. That's okay. I can take it from here. So is it in here? Uh, is it supposed to be on, on the right? I don't know. No. Maybe it's not in this room. Alright. Let's move on. Oh, there we go. Hey, more power. See, it's night and day with using the... You can jump really high here. With using the controller versus the uh, power glove for this game. Uh, I've, I've run through a couple of plays of this, so I know right here there's a secret. If you hit up and shoot, got a little back alley with lots of stuff in here. Let's see, anything in here hidden? I highly doubt it, but... Yeah, I always want to check on this game. So as you can see, you get power. Or life. Huh, life! I guess we're at max life. Oh, another kid. Same jacket. <coughs> What's the matter? Are you alright? Looked like he was in a block of ice. Yeah, I'm okay. Who are you anyways? Captain In. Don't you know? The Black Manta. Oh, great conversation. See you later, kid. Ooh, some bad guys here. It's in life. I joke up on those. Oh, another kid. I think this is the secret office they were talking about. Jeez, thanks for letting me out. Why did they kidnap me? My family isn't rich or anything. Business needs, kids. It seems to be drug related. You don't use drugs, do you? Remember, winners don't do drugs. No, I don't. And keep it that way, kid. Good. Don't let anyone get you started on drugs. They're a dead end. Yes, they are, kids. We just came from here. Alright. I think we're supposed to jump up there. Let's see if there's any secrets. No. Any secrets up here? No. Oh, we got this door. Oh. What are you doing up there? Life. Any secrets in here? I doubt there'll be a secret in a secret, but you never know. Nintendo likes to be tricky that way. No, nothing in there. Well, back we go. Oh, buddy, let's come out of there. And back through this door. Now we're back up at the sign. And you can jump back down here, which is nice. We're gonna get you. Oof. Vincent Price. So, what kind of business are you in? Ah, oh, you know, a little bit of this. Our spies obtain top secret information on each other's, each country's weak points. Hmm. 
What do you do with this information? Nothing. No, none of your business. Oh. That's not very nice. There you go. Got three exit doors here. More life. Okay, next exit door. Oh, a piece of paper. Tiny is hiding in the next building. Aim at his head. More life. Well, I think uh, this is Tiny's building. And oh man, he's not tiny at all. left. Oh, down we go. Three lives, or three life bars, that's not very nice. You know what, let's try, or well, not try. Down we go. Let's try this again. Oh, down we go. Well, we didn't have enough life. Game over. Hey, we got the tiny. But yeah, that is Wrath of the Black Mantle. I recommend picking it up. Let's continue on with the ending of this episode since I'm pasting this in here. Pause. I will revisit the game with a standard controller to show you. Uh, I've been thinking about doing that with episodes just using the controller so you can see how far we can get and how good the games are. But these are testing them out with the Power Glove. I want to test out as many games as I can. There's plenty more games where this comes from. More coming in the mail. I have more that I've just cleaned, uh, which we will show you most likely on the unboxing that should be before this episode, I'm hoping, because this is one of the new games that I got. But that's Wrath of the Black Manta. I love the game. Great music. Uh, great controls when you're using a controller. It's very precise. Yeah, let me know how you like it. And thank you very much for tuning in with us and watching this. My name's Captain N, and as always, I will see you next mission.